Hi everyone, thank you for joining us for our final craft tutorial of Adult Summer Reading 2020. Today we are going to be working together to make DIY hummingbird perches. I just opened up my hummingbird craft kit so you can go ahead and do that now and what you should have is a large silver wire which is a little bit more heavy duty a thinner spirally gold wire your wooden dowel and a baggie of decorative beads on to our first step the first thing you're going to do is get your heavy duty silver wire um, if you would like your perch to be smaller than the wire go ahead and give that a snip to shorten it up with a pair of sharp scissors or wire cutters. Um, I just used, I did want to sh um, shorten mine up a little bit, so I just used some heavy duty scissors and then just bent it back and forth for a second and the access broke right off. Or you can do a larger sized one, either is fine. So I'm going to grab a pencil. So go ahead and just grab any pencil you have, a pen, um, a chopstick, anything that will help you make um, some nice little curly Q spirals. And you are going to use your pencil or whatever you choose to begin to spiral the bottom of the perch. And this is actually going to hold your dowel. Okay, so the first side of my perch spirals are done. I'm going to go ahead and pull the pencil off. Um, the pencil really does help to make it pretty uniform if you want to make it that way. I am not worrying about that too much. I kind of like um, irregularities because it gives it kind of a nice little whimsical feel. So I'm just going to start my second side here. And you're going to want to wrap the beginning part as tightly as you can so it doesn't stick out too much. Just be careful that you don't poke yourself with the wire. So this really works pretty well. Once you get it started, it spirals really nicely. I'm going to call that good for that side. So then you're probably going to want to reshape your perch and make it sort of a horseshoe shape. I think I may have actually cut mine down a little bit more than I meant to, but it's still totally going to work. So then just bend your, your spiral part so that they are facing each other and will make a nice holder for your dowel. And that is going to create the actual perch for your hummingbirds. So just going to carefully thread that through. And oh, kind of came out there. So take a look, see how you like it. Decide if you want to leave a little access on either side. That's what I did. Um, or you can stretch your wire more to make it spread out further on the dowel. Or you can snip the dowel itself. It's pretty thin. You should be able to snip it with anything you have on hand, scissors, a knife, whatever. Now that we have the actual perch set up, it's time to decorate it and add our handle so that you're able to hang this up. So you're going to grab your springy gold wire and choose one side and wind it up on the end so that it holds kind of tight. You can wrap it around the dowel itself. You can wrap it right around the, um, oops, there go my beads, friends. Who don't want to lose those? I'll move those back a little. Wrap them just right around the um, base of the, um, of the horseshoe shape. And this, if you want to make it shorter, is very thin and pliable. You can easily cut it with, with any pair of scissors. Even I think probably a kid's pair of scissors would work. So as you can see, we've got a little bit of extra material here, but I am beginning by just twisting it around 
my horseshoe shape. And it bends super easy. You won't need a pencil or pliers or anything to help with that. It's super, super bendy. So as you go along, um, go ahead and add the beads whenever you want to throw one in. So you're going to just thread the bead through the end of the gold cord, wind it up, and okay. And then you're going to want to wind your cord tightly for a second just to sort of right past where you place the bead just so you can kind of um, have that hold it in place um, and there's no right or wrong way to do this you can put in as many beads as you want or make it more minimal um, they're really the red i guess technically is supposed to attract the hummingbirds but mostly this is just like a decorative thing. So you're gonna wanna keep on winding, keep on beading as you want to. And I um, kind of alternate between winding tightly and doing like a looser, a looser wind because I want it to, I think that the irregularities make it look really whimsical and cute and definitely make it, you know, make it look like a homemade item. I love these blue and green beads that we have in our kits. I think they kind of remind me of like a sea glass. They're really pretty. So again, I'm going to do a little bit of a tight wind here just to hold my bead in place. So we're literally just winding the wire around the, the horseshoe shape. And now I'm going to do a few looser loops just because I like how that looks. Oh, actually, we've reached the top. So I'm instead going to stop and create a loop for a handle. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is super easy. As you can see, I've just simply extended my wire here. I'm going to make a nice big loop for this one. Okay, so there's a nice big handle. And again, just like with the beads in this spot, I'm going to do a nice tight weave just to kind of hold the wire in place. Honestly, the hardest thing about this is just that the wire is kind of flimsy, so kind of goes where it wants. So again, nice tight wind job here just to kind of help hold our handle in place. And obviously it moves and shifts. That's totally fine. Everything's very light. So here it is with our handle all set up. And like I said, I made this handle big. The handle on my other one I made smaller. So just do it however you, however you like it. And then I'm going to add another bead. I love this color too. I think that um, this color scheme, the blues, greens, and reds look really cute with the gold. So I'm just doing a nice tight wind to hold my bead in. Gonna do a couple of looser ones here. Sorry, I'm trying not to move this out of my camera view. I keep wanting to pull it up close to myself. Okay. So see, that's kind of sticking up a little bit more. I'm going to throw in another red bead. 
Oops. Fair warning, these little guys are pretty bouncy if you drop them. Okay. Okay. So again, winding tight a few times around the horseshoe wire just to hold my bead in. And do a couple of looser loops if you want. You'll notice your dowel might be kind of shifting like mine is. No big deal. You can definitely just adjust it. When you're done, I'm going to put in a clear bead. So a little backstory with this. I found a tutorial for these little hummingbird feeders that I really, really liked. And then I cannot for the life of me remember where I saved it. So um, I couldn't find another tutorial that I liked. So I definitely had to kind of wing it. And as most of you know, like winging it with crafty stuff is not really my strong suit. But this craft has really turned out to be really simple. So I was kind of pleasantly surprised that even I, a fairly non-artsy person, was able to kind of put this together and still be happy with the outcome, even without really specific instructions. So I'm gonna do a little few more lines and then I think I will add one more bead. Which color should I choose? I think I'm going to do another pretty like aqua teal color one here. So this particular wire is maybe a little sharp, but not too bad. So if you want to have your kids help you with this, it's great fine motor skills um, with this. So I want this one to stick out a little bit more. And I'm going to do a little bit more tight winding. And I have some beads left over. I ended up making my horseshoe pretty small, a lot smaller than I actually really meant to do it. I trimmed it too much, but um, you know, save those beads for another craft, or if you want to go through and add some more, you can. And I've got a, quite a bit of leftover wire, so I'm just going to give it a couple of winds around my dowel, and then I'm just going to snip it. Okay, here we go. Here's our little perch. This is the one I made just now. Really cute, it's very tiny. And then this is the one I made as a demo last week. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger and I added a few more beads. So make it your own. Um, the wire that I gave you is definitely nice and big so you can make a bigger one, um, even bigger than this easily if you want. Um, but I hope you enjoy this craft. Go ahead when you're done and set it next to your hummingbird feeder. Since hummingbirds are um, territorial, um, you might see them hanging out on their little perch to kind of protect the feeder from other hummingbirds. Um, so how cute would that be to, to watch your hummingbirds in your yard just sort of hanging out on their own little hummingbird swing? Um, if you do this craft, please, please, please send me a picture. Uh, I'd love to see it. But um, Thanks so much for crafting with me and I hope everyone has a lovely day.